Hi, welcome along everyone. Today, this review we're going to do is of this Ho Life portable handheld vacuum. Here then are all the parts with it, and the actual Hoover, the charging stand, just sits in it, which is really a neat little thing. So that's kind of nice. It can be laid out somewhere, and you can just plug it in and charge it up. Okay, so what do you get with it before we go through the specifications? Well, is this a spare filter? to go in it, you get one of those, there's one in it already obviously, but it's nice, a nicer spare one a little cleaning brush, three cleaning attachments there and the actual instructions for the cleaner here then are the specifications of the unit for all you that are interested in such things, I'm sure you are uh, running time up to 30 minutes uh, and the, the power of the thing which is 14.8 volts it's got a power there of between 85 and 90 watts which is pretty powerful and a suction power of 22 watts, that's pretty good so all that remains now, oh, it's 3 to 5 hours to, to charge which you'll want to know that as well but all that remains is really for us to try it out now and see how it goes uh, and to that end, as I'm not that good at Uvin and Janice, I'm passing it over to her <laughs> You cheeky thing! One other very important thing about this Hoover is it also is a wet dry vacuum so it will hoover up a spill which is handy. This is the attachment for that. Um, we will try this out later on and here's the, the introduction about it and the book. So we'll give that a go but we're going to go down to our dirty filthy car that needs a good old vacuum and <laughs> see how the other two attachments work first. The car, I'm sure, is probably one of your major things that you'd probably buy one of these for, uh, as well as probably stairs and stuff like that. So, but for us, it's the car, that's where we're going. Right, let's give this mean baby a go. It's got to be better than plugging the hoover in, running it out to your car, and all of the attachments, and all the fuss and faff. So I'm hoping this is going to do it, because by God, our car's filthy. Look down there. I don't believe in cleaning that often, as you can see. So please, please be good. Oh, it's been good. Look at that. Straight up. Right, simplicity. I take that off. Pop that on. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's got to be better. So much easier. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. State of your car, Jane. <laughs> so it seems we've had a little bit of a leak in the car here. The floor is really wet, so I think either we left the window open or something anyway, but we've got a wet carpet. So we're going to try sucking up some of that wet with the wet attachment on there. So if, when you're ready, Jan, all yours. that I'll wiggle it that's how much water is on that floor so we better keep an eye on that right if you've got a spillage it mustn't exceed 100ml otherwise it goes into the engine and we found it picks it up beautifully but then it can run back out but obviously the amount of water that you did have spilt hasn't run back out so this is perfect in the instance of a carpet spill where you're trying to soak it out of the carpet but not probably as good with a spill like this on the side where you could mop it up anyway so here we have a little bit of black gunja I'm going to have a go now with water obviously there now this one which is the water one, the rubber one we found excellent on the carpet in the car it did suck water up out of that uh, much better but on a flat surface it just drops back down it's actually better with a straight nozzle like this and I'll show you but when you have got it sucked up do tilt the machine backwards because if you leave it forwards it will 
it runs back down. So you have got to sort of suck it up and leave it and let it run inside the chamber. So I'll show you what I mean. Are you ready? And that's it. Now you can see the water laying in there. I think you can see it there, can you? I'll wiggle it like that. To summarise, this is the whole life then, handheld vacuum. It did the job, uh, 20 minutes, we was all done, and it's pretty good. We think it did a good job. Uh, as compared with obviously a mains hoover, you probably get a slightly better job, but you haven't got to tow all the lead down and everything else, and all the attachments on. For a quick, easy job, this did it for us. It's good on the stair carpet and things like that as well. So, gets a good endorsement from us, and that's it really. All that stuff, you know where to go, <laughs> usual place, Derek and 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye. Does this mean you're going to keep my car clean now? Maybe, <laughs> it couldn't get much dirtier. <laughs> <laughs>